Okay, on this first one, uh, when you're looking for the sequence, zero, the first two numbers, 0 and 1, if you add them together, you get 1. If you add the next two t numbers together, 1 and 1, you get 2. Add 1 and 2, you get 3. And if you continue on, 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 5 is 8, 5 plus 8 is 13. So we're going to add 8 and 13 to get 21. On number 11, when they're asking for a counterexample, a counterexample is just an example that shows that it's not true. So you could draw something with five sides that is not regular, meaning remembering that regular means all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal. So both of those would be pic picture examples of counterexamples. On 12, if you add 6 to both sides, you get the new statement, and the, that's the addition property of equality. If you add the same thing to both sides of an equation, it's still equal. On number 13, angles 1 and 2 are in the same location in each of the intersections, so that makes them corresponding angles. On, in, on number 14, 1 and 7 are not in corresponding, but the angle that is a linear pair with 7 is in a corresponding location, the, the ones that are marked. Therefore, 1 and 7 are the, also should add up to 180. So if we subtract angle 1 from 180, we should get angle 7. So angle 7 is 82 degrees. On this one, triangles ABC and triangle FED are comp are corresponding, are congruent. Sorry, are co are congruent. Therefore, corresponding parts of the congruent triangles are congruent. So if AB is twelve, then FE must also be twelve. On number seventeen, we've got FG and IG court. Uh, congruent, EG and GH congruent, and then by vertical angles, those interior angles are congruent. So the two triangles are congruent by sine angle side congruence. On 18, if you draw a picture of your triangle, angle Y is 26 degrees, angle Z is 96 degrees, um, add those up and subtract from 180, angle X is going to be bigger than 26 degrees. So XZ is across from angle 26, making XZ the shortest side. Again, a counterexample is just an example showing that whoops, it's not, uh, just because it has four right angles doesn't mean it has to be a square, so it can be a rectangle. So you can draw a picture example or just state the state that it could be a rectangle. Rewrite an if-then form means that you're going to state that if two corresponding angles are congruent, or sorry, if two angles are complementary, then the sum is 90 degrees. And lastly, those two just switched sides, so that is the commutative property.